on more than just rainfall. Homeowners in the Delta are also having to fight off rising backwater flood levels. WJTV 12's Alex Love traveled back out to Sharkey and Issaquina County and joins us live in Rolling Fort. But what's it looking like, Alex? Olenea in many areas up here. Roads like Highway 61 and in the downtowns are very hazardous right now with water filling dips and holes causing drivers to skid. But even if people up here choose to stay home, them and their properties are still at are still at risk. Along Highway 14, there's communities that have had to place pallets to create walkways getting through their flooded yards. And after a brief period of water receding, Barry is now sending it right back up there, getting homes flooded and taking over roads. In Valley Park, one back street had only a couple inches left before water from a flooded field rushed over it, cutting off communities and farmers who are already seeing their levees weaken as they struggle to keep their homes dry. So now it's taking a community effort to keep everyone safe and out of harm's way. This community has a lot of people over 50 years old. The majority of the people around here are over 50, most of them over 60. Uh, we have a lot of elderly people and we, so we try to take care of them. Uh, the power goes out, we're going to call and check on them, make sure they got their generator going. Or if it starts raining, make sure they're not having trouble with the pump. And it doesn't matter if it's 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, because they're going to be up. If it's raining, they're going to be up. For the Mississippi River counties, rainfall is still expected to go through the night and into tomorrow with, with a possible another three inches of rainfall after the two to three the Delta has already gotten. So we will keep you updated in our 10 p.m. newscast with what the status is and what people up here and around the state need to know to make it through very safe. Until then, reporting live in Rolling Fork and across the Delta, Alex Love, WJTV 12 News.